and we're here with a Savlink. Hi. Hi. So who are you? Uh, I'm Jameson from Savlink. Yes. And what do we see here? Uh, it says uh, 100G super speed, 5 HDMI cable. You, your company was the first to make 2.1 certified? Oh, you are right. As you the brand from HDMI, they told uh, speak to you. We are the first one to get a uh, 50 meter HDMI 2.1 certification. Optical. We are the first. Yes. The so, first optical first. certified. Yes, yes. We are. So that means you have uh, experience to make a good cable the fr quickly in the market? Sure, sure. sure. We are, yes, we are very experienced in that. Because we have almost 10 years experience on the HDMI active optical cable design and manufacturing. It looks uh, really interesting what's happening in there. And here you're showing a little bit what's happening in the cable, right? Yes, this year we show some of the inside construction of the HDMI. You can see the stainless steel armor with very strong construction. And uh, this is the slim for USB-C cables. It's all the cable audio is only 3.0 millimeters. What is this material? This is uh, it's it's copper, the, the or copper it? and uh, fiber optical. It's a hybrid construction. Hybrid? Hybrid. So you bring the power and the data differently yes. or how? Yes. This, this is the USB-C key can carry a 100 watt power delivery. Over the copper? Over the copper, yes. And then the data? Data is 10 gigabits. You cannot do 100 gigabit Type-C? Uh, <laughs> yes, it, it should be. But 10 gigabit. next step, yes. But maybe you should, uh, you can make 40 or 80 gigabit later? Yeah. Yes, we have 40 gigabits already and we are launched at the Q1 of this year. All right. And what is the other cable we see here? The other cable is the, also is the USB-C cable. You can see this cable is very strong. It's used for some medical device. And it has a shield? The shield is helpful on the EMI interrupt. Because for some medical applications, it needs EMI and EFT testings. So it's helpful, the shielding. Does your factory can make many, like uh, how many meters per second? How quickly does it ma the machine make them? Uh, for the, this is the USB cable, it uh, goes 15, 15, 15 meters, sorry, it's 15 meters, and uh, with 10 gigabits uh, data rate. All right, but you have big machine to make the cable, how does it work, the factory? Um, our factory is, we have, we have 200 people and uh, 600 square meters. And uh, is it uh, made by hand or made by a big machine? We have machines, all machines. Big machine? Yes, we have a machine like a die bond and a white bond machines. Make a chip on board. That's why you can see, see some of the technology is the optical transfer engines. This is the OE engine. We can you use this module to transfer USB display port and the HDMI signals behind this. This is the Where is the chip? Is it the big thing? It's there? very, very smaller, very smaller. It's hard to find it? Yes, it's hard to find. What is this? This is the chip used for the control signals. Control signal and uh, somewhere on this is a very small it's not an ARM CPU, it's an A is ASIC like, something or Yes, like an MCU. MCU accelerator. Yes. yes. Yes, um, yes. Is it similar to the technology that's in the internet fiber, fiber internet, or is completely different? Yes, that's different. The internet is, uh, is belong to part of the, you can see the RJ45. It's a RJ45 over fiber also. It's a similar, can make sure this uh, Cat5, Cat6 signal to go 300 meters. This is technology. All right. But what I wonder is, um, when you have fiber internet, and yeah. when you have fiber HDMI, yes, basically yeah. the chip is similar, the CPU and everything, or is different. much different? It's different, much different. Much, much different. different. Yes. Because it only takes care of video signal, so it needs to do video something Video signal like the HDMI and the display port, it's, it's used for the uh, video and the data signal mostly we're talking about is the USB, like USB 3, USB 2, USB 1.1. So what is the newest product you want to talk about in the show? Uh, I want to show is this one. This is the HDMI cable. The difference is we use the silicon wrap on the jacket. It's very, very, very flexible and uh, strong construction. Silicon? Silicon wrap, so you can see it's very flexible. Strong, 
The strong is because we use the stainless steel constructed inside. And it can be long? Yes, can go 100 meters. All right. Are you the only company to do like this? Yes. All right. Uh, so you look for new technology and you go and you do it. You are right. In the past 10 years, we are almost interested in some new technology. That's why today we bring 100 gigabits the super speed HDMI cable at the CES. Where? Yes, because. Which one? Uh, this one. It's small, it's a small modular inside. We use the data center technology, the OE converting, but each channel can go 25 gigabits. So total four channels can go 100 gigabits. Wow. So basically, you're ready for future? Next generation you're ready HDMI. For the future. Yes. Yes, we are ready for the next generation HDMI. Because the current one, 2.1, yeah. is 48. Yes, 48. You double. We will double, yes. For us, because the technology is from data centers, so it's easy to get 100 gigabits. So this is for special project. People need very special project to support this. Maybe yeah. they want to do AK120 uh, 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 un uh, uncompressed, or I don't know. Right, right. Something right. like that, right? Yes, yes. Oh, they want to they want to drive a big screen like this. Yes. Much bigger one. Maybe the sphere. Yes. The, sphere. the next step, I think HDMI is uh, double the refresh rate, so you need a very high bandwidth. All right. Yes. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and it says here, this is maximum 300 meters. Yes. And you have a self-developed chip. Yes. So we what is your chip? Do you show uh, it here? Uh, it, it's hard to find. It's the OE converting chip. OE. O is means optical. E is electronic. Oh, yeah. HDMI is electronic signal. We transfer the electronic signal to optical fiber signals. Then sending the signal over the optical fiber to long distance. That's the oh. whole chain nice. converting. Uh, do you already sell it now? Or you only show it first time and you sell um, it later? We want to sell, but I think... Uh, Higher yes. price, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are right. It's yes. real gold? Yes, it's gold. Gold. Gold, really nice. gold. Gold All plated. Right. So there's, uh, there's, there's gold in there. And uh, uh, which are all these other adapters here? Um, which one do you want to show? I, I think we can sh show you this one the behind. This technology is the, you can say OE converting, then we mount this with PC on the motherboard. It's the embodied solution. We can bury this modular on some other device like uh, industrial printer, camera, and uh, all the devices you wanted. Nice. So you put it directly maybe in the security camera. Right. The optical support directly inside. You yes, we to can have, do that. You need to have this part connect on it. Yes, we can change. We directly. can change the connect to HDMI to USB to anything you wanted. So it's customized the solution. All right. Uh, do you talk about what is the CPU here? I saw a lot of CPU. Like uh, mostly is OE converting for the, right. from this side. Yes. And some of the other ones here. Yes. There's some other solution, huh? Any of them you want to talk about? Uh, I think this one. What it, what it can do? This is a very special project that we worked with a customer. It's for make sure electronic installation. Because some of the applications like uh, medical cameras and uh, some industrial cameras, they need electronic installation. The fiber optical is the best way of this application. Nice. Yes. So uh, you, you wrap the, the fiber system and all this stuff, so it has insulation. Yes. So it's not being uh, interference. We, yes. You know, we work, why we persist on the H, HDMI or USB over fiber is because we believe the time is changed and the people looking for high resolution, also looking for high data rates on the signal transmissions. So. Optical fiber is the best way for the futures because it has no signal loss and go very long distance. That's the future technology. So we persist and believe it will have a very great application and marketing.
I have many, many HDMI cables, but yeah. many times I take one and it's broken. It's like uh, not working anymore. How, how, how reliable is it going to be? How that, long time is it going to be fine? Uh, mostly it can go almost 10 years based on the cheap design. For the durability, that's why you can see we have the stainless, stainless constructions. It's very strong to, to press the crash, to press, prevent the crash. Right. So, yes, it's a long life. Uh, do you want to talk about this cable? What is this? Oh, yes. Uh, this is a very special one. It's uh, the super slim. You can see the cable OD is uh, out of diameter only three millimeters. Three millimeters. With the three meter USB-C with the, uh, you can see. The specs are here, 3.2. Yeah. 10 gigabits, 46 gigahertz, and the PD 100 watt. Lens is max lens is 3 meters. So, oh, yeah. If the passive corpus USB C, the cable OD should be double, at least 5.5 millimeters and 6.0 millimeters. But the AOC only 3 is very slim. We can use the cable on some AR glass. You know, the glass is heavy if you put a passive copper cable on, put on your face. Yes. And, and uh, what is inside here? The inside is a chip used for the uh, DP auto model video and uh, USB signal transmissions. So there's two chip inside. Also have a have the EMAC chip from this module. So it's not optical. Or it's, it's optical. It's optical. optical. It's not. It's not a copper basic cable. It's an optical with it's such a small, yes, small it's a, end. Yes, it's an optical one. It's optical. The optical go is for the USB C video signal and the USB data signal. The PD signal is go over the passive copper wire. Can you do this product for forty gigabit? Maybe yes, 80 gigabit? Yes, yes. yes. How, uh, like, uh, like, what do you mean? Yes, Set, you can do it now or later? Yes. We are under develop this cable and uh, should be launched at the Q1 or Q2 of this year. Nice. Yes. Uh, my it's phone, a USB 4. <laughs> my phone, for example, is uh, Xiaomi and it does uh, 120 watt. Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, so maybe, this one can, can maybe it can do even more than 100, right? Yes. Decided by. You say 100 support, but it can do yeah. even more. Yes, it's decided by the power cable you use inside. All right. You're very strong. Nice. And there's so many other cables here. This is a pretty long one. This, this is, is a pure optical one. This is 18 it's, gigabit? Yeah. Pure optical? It's a pure optical. This is a KVM used for some monitors and USB-C for mouse and keyboard. So everything goes in, in through here? Yes. Is oh, this product? one. This one is uh, 8K KVM extenders. We can support 8K over the HDMI and the USB 3, 5 gigabits, and the back compatible with USB 2 and the USB 1.1. Support the key, some cameras, video camera, mouse, and uh, keyboard. So it will help for some long distance signal transmission. All right. Yes. So, what is the source for this? Uh, the source side is should be PC, mostly the PC or yeah, just like, a US, USB. Uh, PC use the the PC with U and the USB together. All right, cool. All right, and any other you want to talk? This is ATG. Uh, what does that mean? Yes, this is the Display Port. At Display Port already launched the generation is uh, two point one, so the Display Port two point one is eighty. Gigabits. All right. Also, we have it's unidirectional. So we have yeah. so you can see the source and the display. And then there's a little button there. Yeah, the button is put is a lock on the socket, so it's very simple. Wow. Yes. All right. Any other cable you want to talk about? Um, oh, that was everything. What is this one? Ah, this is converting cables. It's DP to HDMI cables. Display port to HDMI. 2.1 to 2.1? Uh, this one is still still 4K, but we will launch new generation 8K. 
Well, so. All right. How many cables do you sell? Can you say, like, are you selling millions uh, or I think millions? millions more than that. Millions? Millions, yes. Because, you know, we are OEM factory. We provide OEM to a lot of brands all over the world. So maybe people buy your product, they just don't know. Yes, <laughs> maybe. All right. Yes. Cool.